Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble up, kids! Word alive! Hi guys! Hi. Hi! Welcome to the final episode of season one! Yeah. 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 We are so yeah. done. It's been a fun journey, hasn't yeah. it? Have you guys had fun with all of us? Yeah! Okay, some of us you know, some of us you don't know, but this is basically the team that has been making everything happen on Bubble Up Kids Show. Everyone is going to introduce themselves and say something to you all. Okay, so let's start. You know me. I'm Miss Bubble. You know me already. And, you know, this gentleman. Joshua. From? JD's Gaming. Yeah. Okay, Sabrina. My name is Sabrina. Um, I like to sing. Yeah. With you guys. You've been hearing her yeah. voice, but you've yeah. never seen her. Seen yeah. So let's say hi to Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina, for always helping us on this show. Who's the next little person? He know. is a dome. And you've been hearing, well, you, you've been hearing one, two, three little boys. You've been hearing their voices loud and clear all the time. So here they are. They are three brothers. The oldest, that's a sample. Do you want to introduce your little bros? Who is that and Who is Yao? <laughs> and here's Yao. Thank you guys for always joining us on the show, okay? Awesome. And who is this beautiful lady sitting there too? I'm Miss Judy. <laughs> I help in the background. Yay. Thank you all for watching and joining oh, us every mommy. week. Miss Judy says thank you. She is super terrific. So many ideas. Always pushing us. She's awesome. Thank you, Miss Judy. And y'all know you. her. I, <laughs> I sing with you and I play along on piano. Yay. Thank you so much, Christina. And finally, I'm he does the guitar and we're so thankful. And guys, should I say this? Should I not say it about yes. Daniel and Sabrina? Should I yes. say it? Yes. Say it. Yes. yes. Okay. And guys, guess what? <gasps> Do you know that Mr. Daniel here and Miss Sabrina here are husband and wife? They're married. So they just got married and it was so beautiful. And I pray that all of you children watching will want to have beautiful, wonderful people to get married. Super terrific. Okay. Bubble up kids. What a life! Okay, friends. So if you saw our little live video from last week, we introduced Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And we're going to sing along again and then we'll do the explainer video and tell you what really this verse is about and how you can use it too, okay? Let's all sing it together. So it's a uh, one, two, three, let's go. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. I, but I will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on me. But I will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on me. But I will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on me. Bubble Up Kids, what a life! Hi guys, we want to explain what Acts 1-8 is all about. And like last week, we told you after Jesus died and resurrected that we just celebrated, you know, on Easter. And if you haven't seen our Easter episode, you definitely have to go check it out, okay? So we just celebrated that and after Jesus went to heaven, was that the end of the story? No. no! No! After Jesus went to heaven, Jesus sent us something so precious. And that's what we just sung about. That is the Holy Spirit. Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit when he went to heaven. And so we continue life with the Holy Spirit. Even though Jesus is no longer here with us, the Holy Spirit is always here with us. So we go back to heaven to meet Jesus. Until he comes back and catches us up to heaven. I know. Oh, yeah. I know Josh is going to have some questions. Let's see what Josh wants to ask. What is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is the precious, beautiful gift that Jesus gave us 
after he left us and sabrina do you have any additions any extra things to say about this what is the holy spirit the holy Ooh. spirit is um god just like jesus is god mm -hmm. and um when we accept jesus into our heart we get the holy spirit which mm -hmm. is jesus spirit mm -hmm. That is terrific. Thank you, Sabrina. So friends, I hope that was clear enough on who the Holy Spirit is. I hope you understand who he is. Like Sabrina said, he is actually God. That's serious, that God is living in us through the Holy Spirit. That is terrific. I love that. Amen. Josh, is that all or do you have more questions? How can I receive the Holy Spirit though? Oh, Josh is asking, how can he receive the Holy Spirit? That's a great question. You can receive the Holy Spirit and friends watching at home, we can all receive the Holy Spirit once we accept jesus into our hearts once we say jesus i want you to be the lord of my life and we get baptized and we'll talk more about baptism in season two so make sure you don't go anywhere you have subscribed you have liked, you're sharing because we have so much in store but once you accept jesus as the lord of your life and say jesus i love you i want you to live in my heart forever then guess what jesus comes into your heart through the holy spirit so that's how we receive the holy spirit miss judy do you have anything to say about this yeah you can receive the holy spirit anywhere you're at you can receive him in school if you just want to go somewhere and pray quietly you can receive him in your bedroom mm -hmm. you can receive him in your closet anywhere you are because jesus loves you and he's everywhere i love that miss judy says you can receive the holy spirit anywhere i receive the holy spirit at home and that's a story for another season not today um, but y'all have to stay tuned josh do you have any other questions or oh, that's the end can anyone receive the holy spirit josh is asking can anyone receive the holy spirit what do we all think can anyone receive yeah. the holy spirit yes. yes yes friends at home what do you think can you receive can anyone at all receive the holy spirit no. yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. yes 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 anyone at all can receive the holy spirit <gasps> but there's a clause right like we just said you have to have accepted jesus christ as the lord of your life everyone can receive the holy spirit anyone in the whole world it doesn't matter what color you are and doesn't matter where you live in the world just like miss judy said anyone at all can receive the holy spirit but you have to first accept jesus as the lord of your life and you can receive the holy spirit now, Christina, do you have anything to add to this? Yeah, you can accept the Holy Spirit if you're big, if you're small. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. Any color. If you're this size, if you're this <laughs> size, you can accept the Holy Spirit as long as you accept Jesus into your heart. I love that. And Christina, hold on. These little guys have been telling me, Mommy, I want the Holy Spirit. Why isn't he coming? So sometimes it's not just one time asking, right? You have right. to keep desiring it right yeah. so friends you have to keep desiring it so all these little people want to receive the holy spirit they haven't yet received it but it doesn't mean he's not there right they have to keep desiring and in other seasons we are going to learn that when you seek me with all your heart you will find me the holy spirit is there but you have to keep seeking him when you seek him one time and he doesn't come it doesn't mean you should stop seeking him right you have to keep Living wanting him yes and living for Jesus over and over again. Thank you, Amen. Christina. Let's see if Josh has any more questions. What will the power of the Holy Spirit help me to do? Oh, that's a great question. Josh is asking, after I receive the Holy Spirit, what is the Holy Spirit going to help me to do? Like, what do I need it for, right? And the Holy Spirit, oh my goodness. I, we could go, we could talk about this the whole day, right? The Holy yeah. Spirit can help us in so many ways. He is sometimes when we feel really sad and nothing mommy or daddy or our friends or anybody says can ever make us feel happy the holy spirit in our hearts makes us feel happy and that's just one of the things there's so many things and as we keep going on and all our friends are going to say something too but as we keep having more and more episodes we're going to keep talking about the holy spirit because there are so many other things that the Holy Spirit helps us with. Sabrina, do you have anything to say about this? Like Miss Bubble said, he helps you when you're sad, but he helps you, like he comforts you. It says that when Jesus left, he gave us a comforter so that no matter what you're going through, if you if you feel like you're worried about something or, or you're scared about something, he's always there for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that is terrific. Thank you, Sabrina. He's always there for you, even when you're scared. Awesome. Come on, Miss Judy. 
the Holy Spirit also helps us make choices, good choices versus bad choices. When we're trying to decide is something good or, or is something wrong, the Holy Spirit is there to guide us and to help us make the right choice. Hey. Christina. The Holy Spirit helps us maintain a positive attitude. And you know, the Holy Spirit helps me play piano all the time. Um, I asked him for guidance and I asked him for help and the Holy Spirit always provides. I love that, Christina. Thank you. So the Holy Spirit is also like an inspiration. and He can help you, friends, with anything and with everything. Okay? We all really, really need the Holy Spirit. Thank you all, friends. That was awesome. Josh, do you have any more questions? So having the Holy Spirit will make me have the fruit of the Spirit like we learned in Glaciers 5, verse 22. Yeah, you remember that, Josh. Friends, do you all remember Galatians 5, 22, the fruits of the Spirit? Yeah. Do you all remember it? Yeah. Yeah. Josh is asking, is there a connection between having the Holy Spirit and the fruit of the Spirit that we learned earlier in this season? Friends, do you all remember? Now, do you all want to sing with us? And the answer is yes. When you have the Holy Spirit inside you, you will show fruits of the Spirit. And let's sing what the fruits of the Spirit song is if we remember. Hopefully we remember, right? Let's sing it on a count of one, two, three. Let's all sing it. So let's all sing it, friends. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. One, two, three. But, but the fruit of the Spirit is L-J-P-F-K-G-F-G-S. L J P F K G F G S love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control love joy peace forbearance kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self control. Woo! Great job. <laughs> Good job, friends at home. Great job, guys. Thank you all. I love that. So we will show fruits of the Spirit when we have the Holy Spirit living in our heart. Those are great questions, Josh. Thank you. Bubble up, kids. What a life. Like you all know, friends, we still have quizzes. We still want to test and see if you understand everything we just said. Just one question for you all, okay? So let's see the quiz for today, Josh. Can I still get the Holy Spirit even if I don't believe in Jesus? True or false? Oh, Josh is asking, can I still get the Holy Spirit even if I don't believe in Jesus? Is it true A or false? Friends, what do you think? Some of our friends are saying true, some are saying false. What do you think, Josh? Is it true or false? It's B, false. Yay! <laughs> it's false. You can only get the Holy Spirit when you believe in Jesus. If you haven't believed in Jesus, you honestly cannot get the Holy Spirit. Okay? Friends, this is just our final episode. But before we go, we want to just worship Jesus or worship God with all of you. So join us. Come on. And let's go have some wonderful time of Yay. worship together. Bubble up, kids. What a life! And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible says so. Let no one come to here below. They are weak, but He is strong. Yes, yes, Jesus yes, loves me. Yes, Jesus yes, loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. One more time. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones who hear below, they are weak, but he is strong. 
Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let's clap. Let's clap. Clap. Joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got a joy, 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 pretty. Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to say. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Down in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in, in my heart. Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Bubble up kids, what a life! Before we say a big goodbye to all our friends and thank you all so very much, we Bye. want to remind our friends that this is the end of season one, but we will be back in the summer with lots of different fun memory verses in different locations. It's going to be so much fun. So make sure that whilst we are away, what do you do? Go back and keep watching the videos over and over again so you don't forget the memory verses, okay? Practice makes perfect. And the more you practice, the more you build your brain muscles and you're going to be a super smart kid, okay? And don't forget to share the videos with all your friends and your family, your cousins, everyone, okay? We love you all. We're going to be praying for you all and we hope you all will love Jesus forever and ever. Yay. Let's say a big goodbye to all our friends. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe to Bubble Up Kids YouTube channel and don't miss any episodes. Let's go tell everyone about Bubble Up Kids. Whenever you're in trouble Whenever you are happy let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble up, kids. Word alive.